preserve my wash and go overnight this is day two hair i'll just show you guys how it's looking and i can get my hair to last for eight days by doing this nighttime routine of course it's a mixture of things it's a mixture of products I'm using it's a mixture of the moisture level that I have in my hair so yeah so but you know a good nighttime routine is definitely necessary to keep your hair lasting otherwise it will get frizzy a lot faster and you will have to restyle or wash it a lot faster so it's pretty simple it's similar to my last one but I figure I'd show you guys how I do it on shorter hair if you guys would like to see how I do this kind of like pretty much just the same method but on my longer hair I will have that linked in my description box okay so I start off with a satin scarf and I like to fold mine in half on the diagonal side so that it creates a triangle like so and because I don't have no hair to flip forward like that, except for the hair in the front, I just tilt my head forward. There's nothing really to push forward. I don't have anything back here. But the hair in the front needs to be going forward. Put the scarf on. And then when I hold it like this, I like to take the opportunity to smooth any side hair forward so it doesn't get too squashed or just so that it's all going the same direction like that and then I start to create my first knot lift the hair above up so it's not stuck in the knot and now it looks like this I take the scarf from up over my ears I don't like my scarf over my ears and then tuck any hairs like loose curls that might have snuck out <laughs> but don't worry we're going to take care of that if there are still any curls in the back like this right here is sneaking out it's all good so after you tie your first knot you're going to bring it behind you and tie a double knot and then I like to tuck these little excess pieces inside the little, the little edges things or whatever. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now you could go to sleep like this, but you might risk the rubbing of your hair from back here by your neck, by your neck, by your nape, and you don't want that because that can cause friction and breakage. So, and also the hair right here is sticking out and then I have hair that's on my forehead. If I decide to roll or whatever, you don't want any of this hair to get touching any of your cotton uh, your cotton pill pillows or whatever. So the next step is this bonnet. I like this bonnet because it's comfortable, it's not too tight, and it stays on all night. So I just flip it back, and then I make sure I cup it, cup the hairs in the front, and make sure it's covering. The hair behind me put it behind my ears and then I'm like this and now my hair back here is tucked the hair in the front is tucked and everything is secure and now I go to bed just like this when my hair was longer it would be a lot bigger in the front because I would have all this hair like right here but because my hair is shorter now it just looks like I'm wearing like a little bonnet you of course there's other bonnets out there that are um satin on um this I don't know what fabric this is probably polyester polyester isn't bad I wouldn't say this this is not necessarily satin I would say this is polyester but 
like I said, polyester is not bad because it's not cotton. Cotton is bad because it absorbs moisture. Polyester ha is, I don't think, it doesn't absorb moisture because that's what satin is made out of. It's made out of polyester. Um, silk is the only thing that's made out of like silk. <laughs> so um, polyester is not bad for your hair. But I would suggest getting getting a satin pillowcase because the softness of it is a lot, I, I would say, is a lot better for your hair. Um, and I've seen pillowcase. I say pillowcase, I meant to say bonnet. And I've seen some really nice um, satin bonnets on YouTube. Or I know some YouTubers that have some really nice satin bonnets. But I just, this works for me. So I just use this. And one day I might upgrade to a satin bonnet. <laughs> but for now, this works fine. And sometimes... I'll lay a satin, another satin scarf on my pillow, over my pillow, just to be safe. Um, but most of the time when my hair is like this, I don't do that because I don't need to because this is not coming off. This will not come off. So yeah, I'm going to go take, wash my face and get ready for bed. And I will be back tomorrow to show you how my hair looks and how I refresh. Well, my no refresh refresh in the morning. See you guys tomorrow. It's the next day. Uh, this is what my head. This is how I woke up. My bonnet did not budge, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Untie the knot in the back. Untie the knot in the front, and then we're just gonna go like this. I'm kidding. This is not how we're gonna go. So yeah, this is how it looks. <laughs> Fresh out the bonnet. And now, if you saw this, you'd think, oh my god, my hair is a hot mess. I have to start over. Actually, this looks kind of cute. It kind of looks like an updo. But no, you're probably thinking, oh my god, my style's ruined. Oh my god. It's not. You start off in the back with your fingers, and you just start shaking. Like so. Shaking. You could use an oil if you want. I haven't been using an oil. Actually, an oil might help with the frizz better, but I don't know. I haven't been getting crazy frizz doing this, so for me, it's not necessary. But if you think you'll get frizz, definitely use an oil on your fingers before starting to do this. And when you get to the front, you just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. So yeah, I just shake it in each section. Now I'm doing the front, and I try to bring it back down as I shake. So shake, bring it down or in the direction that you're looking to bring it. Okay, now I search for my parts, which is around here somewhere. Here's my parts. And just break it up, shake some more. It just loosens it up a little bit to fall into place. My crown is naturally frizzier than any other part of my hair, so that's just gonna be that. <laughs> Ooh. So, I just keep shaking. So this is my hair. You can see all the moisture in my hair right here. There's still like tons of moisture in my hair. So I don't really need to add anything I can feel on my fingers. This is day three here now. Woo. And yeah, my hair will last about seven to eight days. Um, usually I just like by seven, day seven, it's ready to get washed, but like I just go ahead and wait till day eight because that's the day that will be my hair lasts the seven, eight days. So yeah, sometimes if I feel like the back is a little frizzy, like right here, I'll just spritz it with water and like shake it again. I have my water bottle. I might just spritz it like right here, right there. And yeah, just shake it. Cause there's still product in your hair. So it's not like you gotta like do add product or anything like that or sh you know, anything like that. I just use my fingers to like Recirculate the curls or whatever, and yeah, that's it. I don't have to do anything else to my hair. It's so crazy how you have different textures and how they act different. Like this whole top section is like completely different than the hair back here. It's like this one section is one way, 
and then this on top is another way. It's so crazy. It's so strange. But that's natural hair for you. Just shake it. It's also looser, but it's frizzier. But anyway, it's, yeah. So this is how I do it. And then what I like to do is I like to slick my edges. So I take some Eco Styler Gel. This is the, this and maybe Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel is the only Eco Styler Gel that has enough hold to like look good on my edges or just on my hair period. So yeah, I just use this, slick it back. Sometimes I use a brush to like slick it back, but my brush is upstairs so I'm not about to go get it. So I just use my fingers and then I'll take my, my baby brush or my toothbrush, whatever. And I'll slick it with this. So now it is slicked. Then I take my toothbrush and style lay my baby ears now for the last three eco styler gel lines that eco styler gel came out with all of them suck the only one i haven't tried is maybe the gold line but i ain't trying that like oh my god the black castor one doesn't work coconut oil one it used to work when i had heat damage but it doesn't work on my hair now <laughs> so yeah the only one that really I really like is the argan oil one. Because I like how it slicks my edges and it stays. It doesn't start crinkling back up or curling back up or anything like that. It just slicks like that. I have a quick story. I was at a curl fest last week and I was in line to take looking to take a picture. And this girl came to the line to like hand out free Eco Style Gel. She started off um, like talking to the people in front of us. And she ended up moving up and um, it was kind of just like, girl, like we want you to sell a deal too. Like, where are you going? Right? So the girls behind us, well, there's two girls behind me and Blake, my boyfriend. And they were like, oh, we want Eco Style Gel. Like, we want some Eco Style Gel. Girl, where are you going? Kind of thing, right? So we're all like, where are we, where's, your, where's your going? So Blake's like, do you want Eco Style Gel? And I'm like, yeah. So he goes up and he goes and gets it. So this is the Eco Style Gel that he got. Cannabis Oil Eco Style Gel. Girl, weed Eco Style Gel? My first thought was, <laughs> yo, Eco Style Gel is not playing with their loss in sales because of Brie Hall's video against Eco Style Gel. They are not playing. They legit made weed Eco Style Gel. <laughs> I'll show y'all what it looks like. So, so whatever, so I get it. And so he's going to go get it, right? He's he's like, you want an eco style gel? I'm like, yeah. So he goes to go get it for me. I'm sitting in line still. I hear those girls behind, one of the girls behind me says, ah, whatever, I don't need eco style. I don't, what do I look like getting gel anyway? What do I look like putting gel in my hair anyway? I'm black, like, what do I look like slicking my edges? Like, they're supposed to curl up. They're supposed to be curly and kinky and coily. Like, ah, what do I look like getting gel anyway? I'm like, bitch, you was a hater. Like, you were just saying, oh, I want Eco Styler gel. Oh, I want some. And now that you don't have nobody to go get gel for you, you're mad because you're mad. So these girls are like, mad. And I'm almost like, so he comes back with the gel. And I'm like, ooh, ha ha, oh, they have weed Eco Styler gel. I was like, I didn't do that. But I was just like, oh, thanks, babe. Like, whatever. But later I told him, he was like, what? Because later on, I'm sorry, this is a quick story time. <laughs> So later on, um, so Blake and I always go to Afropunk like every year <laughs> and this guy comes up to us and says, hey, like you guys, and he's, he's um, one of the photographers from Afropunk and he was like, it's nice to see you guys here, it's nice to see you guys together like still and you guys are still happy and you guys are still doing your thing because um, for Christmas my boyfriend bought the high resolution photo from him to, um, to create a poster for me for, um, for uh, for, for Christmas there's a picture of us from Afropunk last year I'll, I'll insert the picture here and he 
basically blew it up into a big poster, like a like a picture frame or whatever for us to hang on our wall. So um, he was like, I was like, oh, that was I was so Blake explains like I bought the high res from him, and I was like, oh, you did that's so sweet. So I'm like, oh babe, like whatever. And then the guys like, oh, you guys are so good. I'm so oh, we hope to see you guys at Afropunk this year, isn't there? So like, yeah, 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 we're going to see or whatever. So you hear the girls behind us, and they're just like, okay. I'm like, y'all are some haters. You're some hating ass girls. Anyway, but I really just wanted to show you guys this weed ego salad gel because <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, back to my hair. This is my hair. This is how it looks. This is how it looks after I've styled it. And yeah, it looks cute. <clears throat> So yeah, that is how I preserve my hair overnight and how I refresh in the morning. It's very quick. And don't think just because my hair is short this, that like this slides so fast because even when my hair was long, I did it this, the exact same way and it was just as fast. So yeah, you really just shake your hair, do your edges real quick and you go and that's it. And I'm just throwing your hair in a, a big pineapple, go to bed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.